Welcome YMCA members and guests and anyone watching today. My name is Colleen and I'm an instructor at the Ron Rosner Watt Family YMCA. And today we have a great bar video for you. Before we get started, just a couple of items to get cover. If you're not feeling well today or you have any injuries, you can always press play another day. Exercise is a wonderful thing for your body, but so is rest. So listen to your body and pay attention to it. And if you haven't been exercising or you do have any injuries, please consult with a medical professional and get their approval before you start today. Okay, when you're ready. The equipment we need today, if you have a chair nearby, any chair will do, hopefully, as, as long as it's pretty sturdy. Um, a bo bo bottle of water, because we, we will get sweaty, and a towel and a mat if you would like them. As always with the bar, shoes are optional depending on your surface. If you've got somewhere where you're comfortable to be in your bare feet, that is fine. If you prefer shoes and they're better for your feet to wear, go ahead and put them on. I'll get the music started and we'll go. Okay, we are going to start today with our heels together and our toes apart in a nice athletic V, or you can think of it as a piece of pizza. You're turning out right from here in your hips. It should not feel strained. It should be comfortable. We'll start. Roll those shoulders down and back. Belly button pulls to your spine and inhale up. It's up and down. Inhale up and down. Inhale up and down. One more. And down. Lift your heels as you go up. And down. Just scooting back a little. Up. And down. Two more. Lift up. And down. Up. And down. Now just knees come out. And stand. It's up. And stand. Just getting started. Think about creating that mind connection with all those muscles. Out. And stand. Let's put those both together. It's lift and out. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Give me two more. Lift, lower. Last one. Lift and lower. Step your feet out a little farther. Keep that same turnout, just like when your heels were together. They're just a little farther apart. Belly button pulled into your spine and sink down and up. Down and down. Now we're gonna add in some arms. It's down, reach up, down, reach up, down. Point that toe as you reach. Really reach through your side. Plie, lift, plie, lift. Good work. Keep going. Make it a little bigger. And lift, lift. Lift, warming up all those muscles. Lift, lift, lift. Last one. Bring your heels and toes facing straight forward. Sit back in a chair. And squat, squat, squat. Four, three, two. We're gonna add on to this a little bit on turning direction so you can see. It's just a little step forward. Split squat or a hack squat, sometimes called. Step forward and back. Forward. Forward. Core is strong. Keep going. Four. Three. Two. We're going to slow this down. Make it a big lunge. So take a big step forward. Big lunge. And back. Lunge. And back. Now take your opposite arm. Come forward and cross. And up. Come forward and cross. And up. If you're having trouble keeping your balance, just keep it straight. But if you can, just cross right in front of that knee. And up. Two more. Cross. And lift. Cross. And lift. Hold this one up. Go all the way to that full lunge. Straighten that back leg. Bring your heel to the ground. Feel that stretch. Then lift that back heel. And lift it up. Bend that knee. Lift. Lift, four, three, two, hold it back one more time, feel that stretch, four, three, 
two, back to your squats. Knees and toes facing straight forward. Here we go. Let's sit back. 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 Keep it going. Four. Three. Two. Half squat with the other leg. Step it forward. Forward. Just a little step. Both knees are bending. Four. You can move your arms if you want. Two. We're gonna slow it down, take that big lunge forward, lunge, and back, lunge. Take your opposite arm up, lunge, cross over, and up, lunge, cross over, and up, lunge, cross over, and up, keep it going. Last one, hold the next one out, hold it there. Straighten that back leg, bring that back heel to the ground, feel that stretch in your calf. And then lift your heel, drop your knee. Two. Keep going. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Hold it back there. Feel that stretch again. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Bring it back. Shake out anything else you want. We're going to warm up your core a little bit right now. If you would like to grab your mat, Feel free, spread it out on the floor. We are going to start, we're going to fold down and walk out inchworm to an inchworm plank. Here we go. Inhale up, fold down, bring your hands to the ground and walk them out. Do you find that plank? And hold, hold, hold. Four, three, two, Walk, bring, lift those hips, walk those hands back, and curl on up, again, down, walk your hands out, you can always bend your knees if you need to, feel free, and when you're holding this plank, if you're not quite ready for long rest, you can be here on your knees, hold, if you have any wrist issues, feel free to go to your elbows and hold, or you're here, hold, four, Three, two, back to long arm, walk those hands up. And come on up, inhale. Good job, core should be warm now too. We are going to get started with the rest of our workout. Get some water if you need it. Breathe, remember, take breaks when you need it. You can always press pause. Okay. You want your chair nearby. We are going to be working your right leg. So actually your chair stays over here because the one working is your supporting leg. The one moving is the one that it seems like it's working, but it's not working quite as hard. This one, knees and toes are all facing forward the whole time. Belly button is pulled to your spine. You have the chair there if you need it. And we're going to squat down and tap that toe out and stand. Squat, tap out, and stand. Squat, tap out, and stand. Keep it going. Down, out, stand. Two more. Last one. And now one movement out and stand. Out and stand. Your weight is mostly in this supporting leg. It is sitting back, just like a squat. It's just the one leg. You can move your arms however you like, or you can be holding on. Whatever feels better to you. Two more. Hold this next one down. Hold it here. Make sure this knee has a soft bend in it. This one's light. It can move all around. This is the strong one right now. We're going to come all the way down, halfway. All the pathway. It's your leg that's working and your glute. Keep it going. Four, three, two, hold it there. Bring that foot in and out. In and out. Your knees bent here. I can see a little better here. Four, 
three, two, one. We're gonna add in, so it's down, out, in, and stand. Squat, tap out, bring it in, and stand. Squat, tap out, bring it in, and stand. Squat, out, in, and stand. Okay, that's one option. If you have any, you're gonna stay there, or you can change it to this. It's down, out, in, and stand. Down, out, in, and stand. Down, out, in, and stand. Down, out. We're gonna put those together. It's down, out, in, and stand. Down, out, in, and stand. If you do not wanna do a burpee, this is where you stay. If you would like, come with me on the other one. Down, on the next, <laughs> two more. Now come with me on the burpee. Down, out, in, and stand. Down, out, in. Two more. Down, out, in, stand. Last one. Good job. Turn towards your chair. We're gonna be doing push-ups. You can do them on the chair or you can go to the floor. You decide. You're here. Belly button pulled into your spine. Heels can be flat on the floor or on your toes. And let's go, it's down, up. Elbows are in close to your rib cage. It's a tricep push-up. When we're in the studio or the aerobics room, we use the bar for this, but if your chair is sturdy enough, it works with your chair. Just be careful, your chair's not gonna slide. Test it first. If you have trouble with your chair sliding, same thing on the floor. Four, three, two, hold the last one down, hold. Four, three, two, and come on up. Switch sides. So if you have your chair, you can either switch directions and move your, uh, whatever you're playing this on, your phone or your computer, or just switch the side of your chair. Okay, do you guys remember where we started? Anyone? <laughs> We're going to start just with that squat, 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 and then we're going to add that tap to the side, it's squat, out, and stand, squat, out, and stand, squat, tap, stand, squat, tap, stand, let's put those in one movement, tap, Keep going. Yeah, those burpees and push-ups, they probably got your heart rate up a little bit. Just keep breathing. Take breaks when you need it. Four, three, two, hold this one out. Hold it there. Keep this knee soft. Do not let it knock out. And lift, lift, half range, lift. At any point in this whole exercise, you can do the same thing without the squat. You can just be standing here. You're still working that leg. Lift, 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 lift. Here we go. Four, three, two. Stand up, shake that out a little bit. Remember how the pattern went? Here we go. It's down, in, out, and stand. Down, out, in, and stand. I'll get my words right, down. Out, in, and stand. Down, out, in, and stand. Down, out, in, and stand. You can stay here. Okay, remember? Or you can make this the burpee. Out, in, and stand. Down, out, in, or make it the burpee. Down, out, in, and stand. Down, out, in. I'll get the pattern right. Down, out, in, stand. Down, out, in, and stand. Back here, down, out, in, stand. Down, out. One more set. Down, out, in, and stand. We got four more, you decide where you are. Here are the burpees. Down, out, 
in, stand, down, out, in, stand, down, out, in. Last one, either way. And come on up, shake that out. Another round of push-ups. You decide where you are. Last one I did on the chair, or you can be on the floor. Long leg or knees. I'll demonstrate this one on the floor. You can stay with the chair. Here we go. It's down. Down. Exhale as you push away from the floor. Two more. Hold this one down. Hold. Hold. And up. Great job. Get some water if you need it. We are moving on. I'll move my chair back over. You want your chair actually so that you can face it. You're going to be facing your chair. I'll have it here. I think you'll be able to see me pretty well. We are going to start. Remember from the warm up when we did that hack squat? We're going to start with a regular squat and then we'll move to that hack squat. You should have enough room. If you need to, you can turn a little sideways so you don't hit your chair, or if you're using a counter, you can turn sideways. That'll work too. So let's start with that squat. Just down and stand. Down and stand. Two more. Down and stand. Last one. Now step forward in that hack squat. Down, down, down. Down. It's just that little step forward, turning sideways so you can see. My toes are going much beyond my foot. Down. Down. Hold the next one down. Hold. Hold it here. Now you have an option, and this is why you have the chair. You can stay here, do the rest of this here. We're going to do some half range of motions, which you have been doing. Or you have the option of not only looking at that heel, Lifting that front heel too. Important thing on the front heel. Your knee is still not going beyond your toe. You're sinking straight down. Looks like this. Down. Halfway. Down. Halfway. Hello. Yes. All those muscles really turn on. But you can be here too. Whichever works for you. And they both are hard work. Keep going. Four. Three. Two. One, lower that front heel. It's down, hamstring curl. Down, hamstring curl. I'm leaning forward, but this leg's not straightening completely. Hamstring, down, hamstring, down, hamstring. Woo, you're feeling that in that front leg. Four, three, two, last one, still back down in that hack squat, from here if you would like, lift that front toe again, knee is not past the toe, little pulses, lift, 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 you're lifting out core strong, nice and tall, four, three, two, and you're done, switch your chair to the other side, we'll start with just that squat to flush that out a little bit. There we go, just squat, squat. You never thought the squats would feel great, huh? <laughs> just flush that out a little. Take breaks when you need it. Get some water too. Four more. Four, three, two. Last one, now step forward, forward, and back. We'll start slowly. Forward, and back, now speed it up. Forward, back, forward. Both knees are bending. That front knee does not go beyond the toe. Keep going. Woo, a little sweat there. <laughs> Pull the next one down. Pull the down there, halfway, 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 halfway. Four, three, two, 
one. If you want to lift that front leg, go ahead, lift that heel. Knee not in front of your toe. It's down, halfway, 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 halfway. If you want, lower that front heel. Now we're lifting that hamstring. Front knee stays bent, hamstring. You are leaning forward a little bit. Bringing that back knee up. Curl that hamstring. Curl. Curl. Good work. Keep it going. Four. Three. Two. The last one. Stay low. You can stay here or lift that front heel. We've got pulses. Oh, more sweat. Here we go. Lift. Lift. It's your choice. Heel down or heel lifted. Nice and tall, core is strong. Four more and you're done. Four, three, two, one. Come on out, great job. Shake that out a little bit. Go ahead. Stretch those quads. Stretch the other quad. A little figure four stretch too. And another leg. Just to get that stretched out a little bit while we're working. Get some water if you need it. We are moving on to our last section. We are going to start, you can have your chair nearby. It doesn't really matter which side because we're going to be, well, if you want, switch it together. <laughs> uh, okay, we are going to start just your chair nearby. Heels together just like we did at the very beginning. Toes turned out. The turnout is coming from your hips, not your knees or your feet. It's from right up here. This is what it looks like when you're forward. Your hips are facing forward, and when you bring it up, oh, you're turning from your hips. Okay, heels together. This should be comfortable. You're just standing here. It shouldn't be a strain. We're just down. Just plie. 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 Four. Three. Two. Hold it down. Hold it there. You're sliding up and down the wall. You're not leaning forward or back. I'll turn sideways so you can see. It's just straight up and down. Chest is not coming forward. Four. Turn in front again. Three. Two. One. Take your right leg. Step out. And back in. Step out. And in. If you want to hold out your chair, you're here. It's in front of you. Keep it going. It's out. Step in. Out. Step in. Two more slowly. Out. Step in. Engage that core. We're going to speed it up here. Out. In. Out. In. Even though we're going faster, get that picture at each spot. You're down, then up, down, up, down. It's all about control. Four, three, two. Hold it down in that plie. Hold. See if you can go a little bit lower. Yeah, I could too. <laughs> From here, I want you to lift a heel. Lift your right heel. Left. Right, left, Woo, keep going, right, left, right, left, four more, four, three, two, last one, walk that in. We're going to go straight to the other side, so if you want to move your chair over, if it's right in front of you, you don't need to. Okay. We'll start with just the plie, plie, little one, heels together, we're stepping out your left foot, here we go, step out, and in, out, and in, still slowly, out, find that depth, and stand, out, stand tall, two more slowly, Last one slowly. Now speed it up. Out, in, out, in, 
out. Find those pictures at each spot. That's like, click, click, click. Just right into place. Four, three, two, hold it out. Hold it here. Sink a little deeper. You can do it. Yeah, you can. Now lift left. Right heel. Left. Right. Left. Right. Four more. Left. Right. Left. Last one. Come in. This one you will need your chair for. I've got some options for you. I'll turn it a little bit so you can see. We're going to go back. Heels together. We have one last section. And then we're moving to just core on the floor. But we have to have a challenge first. Yes. Okay, we can just be right here in your plie again with your heels on the floor. But I'm going to give you a different option. You're bringing one heel up, bring the other heel up. Touch your heels together. Everything's nice and strong, core's nice and strong. Your heels are touching from here to a plie. It's here and up. At any point you want to lower your heels, go back to where we started and stand. Lower and stand. Core is strong. Lower. And stand, lower, and stand. Hold the next one down, hold. You're holding it down, hold. Now I want you to just bring those knees back. Just a centimeter, just a little bit. Knees back, back, back. Woo! Everything is working. Four, three, two. You've got eight little lifts and you're done. Eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and you're done. Great job. Woo! Get your little sweating. That last one works all those little muscles in your legs and the big ones. You can move your chair out of the way. Feel free to get your mat if you would like. We are coming to the floor. And get some water. My water got caught on my chair. <laughs> okay, we are coming down to the floor. Down to your hands and knees. On this one, if you have any knee wrist issues, we're gonna start with a hover plank, but if you have any wrist issues, just go straight to an elbow plank. Uh, the exercises can be the same, it's just a slightly different way of working your core. Okay, so if you are, if you have no wrist issues, you are right here. Belly button fold to your spine, just on your hands and knees. You're going to curl your toes, see my toes in the back, curl those under. So you're right here. What we're going to do first is just lift your knees off the ground, one inch. Here we go. Inhale, exhale, and lift. Keep breathing. Core strong, back is straight. Hold. And come on down. That's where we're starting from. Okay, here we go. Same thing. Inhale, exhale, lift those knees up and hold. Hold. Now we're going to add a twist. You're going to twist your knees to the side and center. Twist your knees to the side and center. Side and center. Side and center. Feel those obliques? Side and center. Side and center. Two more. Side, center. Last one. Side and center. Come on down. Stretch that out a little bit. Okay, now to elbow plank. Come down. Ex inhale, exhale, and extend your feet. Extend them out. Hold. We will add in a twist, but first we're going to start with a knee tap here. Tap one knee down and lift. Other knee, lift. Tap. 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 And tap. Four, three, two, last one. Take a break. Bring that 
back, hold. If you don't need a break, just keep going. From here, back to elbows. Inhale, exhale, hold that plank. And hold. Two. Now we're gonna add that twist. It looks a little different on this one. It's twist to the side and back. Twist and back. Twist and back. Give me two more. Twist and back. Twist and back. Twist and back. Hold and come on down. Bring that back to child's pose. We are gonna stretch right here. Nice big inhale and exhale. Great job, everyone. And come up to your hands and knees just like before. A little cat cow. Curl your spine up towards the ceiling. Lower your head. Inhale, exhale, and open up your chest and lift your head. Inhale, exhale, reverse. Inhale, exhale, and open your chest one more time. And then come to neutral spine. From here, bring your hands off the ground. Step one leg forward, lean in, stretch those quads and hip flexors. Ooh, I've got lots of sweat today. <laughs> Grab my towel. So you're leaning here, stretching. You can support on your leg here. You can frame your front leg if you would want to come a little lower. Or you can bring your hands to one side, widen that out, and come down to lizard whichever stretch you prefer. While you're here, nice inhale, exhale, and just relax those leg muscles. Feel the stretch. Inhale, as you exhale, push back. Extend the front leg in front of you and fold down. And again, an inhale, exhale, and release all those worries. Relax your muscles. Release, switch sides. Extend one leg in front, lean into it. You can support up here or frame that front leg. Or if you want to go lower, walk that foot out and come down lower. You decide, given the options. Regardless of which position you're in, inhale, exhale, and release those muscles. Just relax. Inhale, exhale, push back, and fold forward over that front leg. And this is my really tight hamstring. <laughs> so you just hold, you can support on the floor. It needs the stretch. And release. Come back to your knees and stand up. From here, actually bring your chair a little bit closer. You might want it for balance. And then bring one leg up. Stretch your quad. They worked hard today. Whew, so sweaty here. <laughs> I hope you're sweaty too. 
Bring that across, figure four, sit back and stretch. Switch sides. And then bring that leg across, figure four. Feel that stretch right here in your glute. And come on up, inhale in. One more time, inhale up. Hold your arms up at the top, lean towards one side. And up, lean towards the other, and up, release, bring one arm across, shoulder stretch, other side, release, bring your hands behind your back, lace your fingers, open up that chest, we did do those push-ups, remember, <laughs> and planks. Release, bring your arms in front. Grab both your elbows, open up your shoulder blades in the back. It's like giving yourself a big bear hug. And release, one more inhale up, exhale. And great job, everyone. I'm so glad you joined me today. Hope you got nice and sweaty too. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.